behind. They didn't have the greatest of games. In purgatory. Let's see how it goes. It's going to start from the northern side of Ski Lodge and ending directly at Mount Villa. So again, for this very final match here, we are going to be having quite the neutral flight path here. So there's no excuses here that teams are not going to be able to go where they like this and that, you know. Mm -hmm. But we're already seeing a lot going to Ski Lodge here. 57 Ale together with uh, Lotus Squad and uh, Asala Original not going to be too far off here, but uh, they are going to be a little bit further away from the pack. But yeah. ba Basilea here is going to be, again, the home to quite a few teams not wanting to make any uh, of these Risky, risky rotations later on. Yeah, Excel is going to still go for Santa together with Carpe Diem and also another team as well, squeezing in three teams onto one small compound. So the things are going to be uh, very hectic here in uh, Central as they are dropping in soon. Now we're looking at Vestamundo dropping at the same spot as uh, Team uh, Botti. But it looks like Barone has got their first uh, weapon. However, it looks like 57 Ally has opened up the frag by getting that first kill and knock on towards a member from Team Lotus Squad. Here comes the body. Jai got to the second floor but was not uh, prepared for what has come to them as Vesta Mundo opens up all the bullets on towards the members uh, of a team. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, Botti and Botti, I believe, has been eliminated here as Vesta Mundo gets three kills. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure Botti has four members. No, Botti still have one more left. Uh, Telegenova. That's very hard to pronounce. It's still well alive here for the side of Team Botti. So three kills very early here for Vestamundo. Now we're approaching on towards the central side where Team XL and Team Top will fight it off together with uh, Team Carpe Diem. Everything so chaotic here in Purgatory as bullets has been fired here in central. And Troya has made their own kills as well. Right here has become the new clean leader bot. Now Top spots a member from Team XL to run out to the side. Duke still duking in. At the same time, Lucker at the back. Uh, finds a member from Carpe Diem, goes for the jump kill to go against the kill and the knock and oh my god! Oh, this is tragedy for Team XL right now. They cannot afford to go out this early, otherwise they've had it here. They won't be able to get the top spot. But now Daniel is starting to move around the side, but he's getting surprised here. And oh. They, oh, he manages to get the shot there as Daniel pulls through there. But at what cost here? They've already lost Laka here. David and Menes here is going to be so low on HP, but now he has to try and do it again. Oh. But Tom gets eliminated here. Oh, Carpe Diem, I think, is coming in here and they are the going to be having a big say on what's happening here. So Carpe Diem definitely want to try and take out these guys here. If nothing else, it's going to be a, for a little bit of revenge. All right, looks like two teams has been eliminated in our game right here. Troya has been elimin eliminated. I'm not sure what team was that. At the same time, uh, Team Top has been knocked over from Central. And Carpe Diem is going to fight against Team XL. Gets the refrag nicely done here uh, by Team XL. Nico tries to do something from ground floor. He will try to revive his member that manages to actually find a way through uh, to Nico. The revive is there. Gladams. Goes to the second floor and see there. Lotus squad not looking very good against 57 Ally. And oh, Carpe Diem still has all four still standing. Danik has managed to get the knot over Cheo. I don't know why the guy was swimming. Maxim is not crawling on the floor. Crawling in my skin. His wound is, looks like it's not real. As of 57 LA gets that kill. Now, two kills in the back for 57 Ally. At the same time, Mothouse, Bonaya having their yeah, sweet time here uh, without any kind of trouble. And Vestamundo. Lost uh, Blazer and only Lucas is left. Uh, and 420 is racking up the kill. Six already here in this game, and they still have four players alive. Vasamundo trying to get out with the one player that they have here, but he's going to attract a little bit of fire. 20 HP only remaining on him. He's going to try and leg it here, but 420 is fast on their heels, uh, or fast on his heel, as right now he's. Really not in a fantastic spot right now. And everyone is going for broke here. They're, they yeah. don't care anymore. They're just going to try and take out everything here. But we have to see uh, Carpe Diem did also get the four kills there as well. So uh, can we scroll down the team name to see which teams that has been eliminated? I believe we can do so. Because the four teams has been knocked away from our game. And here you go, Danik. All right, there you go. Team Axel apparently has been uh, eliminated by Carpe Diem. 
Oh, man, and that really, really is not going to help them at all. They've really dropped the ball the last few games. And uh, this game, unfortunately, is no exception here. And um, Spornaya is looking very pretty in the standings here. Yep. It's going to take something else from the third and fourth place teams to try and overcome and that. Vastamundo has been elim eliminated by Team 420. This is Team 420 is the team placed at number 11 in our current standings. And, uh, well, they're trying to sabotage as much as they can on towards the team that is on the high spots. And uh, Troya is going to be very close here to uh, 420. They need a big game here if they're going to try and overcome that lead that Spornaya has had. But, yeah, going uh, to a very secluded spot at the start, you know, was going to uh, ensure their early game survival. And mm. they're sitting pretty at the top of the standings. Um, but, yeah, I mean, looking at things here, it's been an absolute bloodbath at the start here of match number eight. As now there's only going to be 22 players left alive here. But I'm not sure what's happening to Lotus Squad. I think maybe some of them might have unfortunately disconnected here. But uh, yeah. we're, we still see the other challenger in this now three-horse race here. It's going to be Asala Original. All four members still alive. They went for a little bit more of a safe play in the early stages. And now they need to get a big game here. All right, 420 and Rochi on towards uh, the areas of Brasilia might be meeting up with Troya if they continue on to their path right here. Ormani... Uh, I think, yeah, our money is the only one left for the side of Troya. Troya manages to get four kills in. Now tries to go for high ground, but has been shot at the back. Glowall was forced by him. It looks like Ragna sees him all alone behind the glow wall, but... Ormania manages to actually um, run over the hill, but is still being chased here by the members of 420. Will he survive? It looks like he will survive. He will find uh, 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 cover here behind uh, one of the crates in campsite. So Ormani will still be in play, but I'm not sure for how long. Yeah, and Troya, uh, they need to get a big round here, but it doesn't look likely as they only have that one player left. And it's going to Asala Original's position. Oh, so this no. could be absolutely terrible. Asala Original opening up now onto 420 as they're trying to approach this position here. But uh, there's an in pursuit of Ormani, no less. Yes, Ormani is stuck in between us, uh, Asala and also uh, just now uh, Team 420 at the same side. Carpedia might come into the war as well. Things are... Very chaotic here in our last game. Look at how our Carpedium comes in and meets up with Asala. I can hear a car coming in. There you go. Ama Kila, together with his other teammates, has arrived in the vicinity. Sees one, breaks the wall, goes in for the kill, and gets the knock very nicely done. By the same time, Slatke at the back. Ama Kila really needs to find an angle for Slatke. Slatke can go for the shot, but he will expose himself if he opens up. There, you can see uh, Amakila could go for the angle, but do not want to do so. Fallen back to the side. Imaji is right behind her. I mean him. And Nico as well will do the same. So uh, Imaji will get this card with, together with Lockset. Leaving. Uh, so who again is now? Uh, Sla uh, yeah. yeah, Slacky is trying to hold the fort here with whatever he can, you know. As uh, it, Asala really has to think about the oh, bigger picture. I can't attention. blame them for uh, uh, leaving him behind. Oh, but uh, right now, it looks, looks like Carpe Diem just trying to reset a little bit here. Get a little bit more meds and, and finish looting up on this uh, nice little bit of loot that they managed to get here without taking any losses. Five kills on the board, but... Uh, Find Slatky. But, oh, Slatky. Oh, dear. And uh, Asala Original also looking in danger here of dropping out of this two-horse race. All right, there you go. It looks like Carpe Diem uh, redeemed themselves, but they really need to rake, rake in, uh, like, maybe... 20 kills in order to still yep. be in our game. 20 kills with a Buya. I'm not sure if it will be enough, but given that Sponaya is still well alive. And there's only actually 20 people yeah, left here, so, so yeah, no, yeah it's, no hope. It's going to be a tall order here, but it's not going to stop them from trying. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, right now, we will see Lotus Squad still having the two players left remaining here. But yeah, right. Valera, unfortunately, looks like a disconnect there. So a bit unfortunate. But now, looks like two sports cars. And Carpe Diem is going for a very exciting style here. Not really caring about whether or not they get spotted out with the kind of mobility that they have at their disposal. But it definitely makes for some entertaining plays for the rest of us. All right. So... Seven teams left with 20 players still in our purgatory right here. And uh, it looks like Kabedem is having their own fun here, exchanging uh, passengers of cars. So they're going to ride these two cars, having their own time. Ormani is still well alive here for the side of Troya, not looking very good as he does not have any kind of mad kit. Here's the Ferrari 
uh, running over, but uh, Ormani will just stay put and hide for himself for Team Troya. At the same time, maybe Carpendiem will uh, try to go for another hunt with the cars that they have. Oh, and it looks as though they have some uh, Spornaya who is going to be very close to their position. They're going to definitely know that they are coming here, but now we're going to see them exchange some loot here, but they have got the vehicles coming up over there. There's not actually a lot of cover here, and they're going to be spotted out here right now, and they're opening up on their uh, Makila here. Not ever able to land enough shots there, but they are resorting to glue walls. They are all stuck behind that cover there. There's nowhere to go. Carpe Diem could put a big nail in the coffin here for the leaders right now. They're, then the frantic nades are coming out here in an effort to try and survive, but the flashes are going to be detrimental here for the members of for Naya as now the push is going to be coming from Carpe Diem as now it does look as though that it's going to be absolutely tight. They're relying on this cover here, but the fire coming out from the back cannot be stopped. And for Naya still trying his their best to play behind these glue walls and Carpe Diem slowly bit by bit tries to actually break the glow walls. However, Zamaro goes in for the push. Carpe Diem now is in a pinch right here as Bonaya is roughening up on towards Carpe Diem. Carpe Diem running over to his the car. They have to exit as the car has smoked up. Nico is wide open for the taking. Nico goes down and now Amakila is the only one left for Carpe Diem. Amakila tried to do as best as much as he can. But could not do so. It's Bonaya. Suka. There you go. Four kills to the bag. Wow, managed completely there, repel there, and it, it looked as though that Carpe Diem had the best positioning there after the really catching them off guard, but they had glue wall after glue wall, and it really was able to get them out of that pickle there, and now it looks like they're going to be in a fantastic spot here to get some good points on the board here, and uh, now we're going to see that 420 is going to be very much around Asala original players. Remember, two of them did have to get away in a hurry from Carpe Diem, and now this is going to be their last stand, most likely, if 420 has managed to scope them out. Uh, 427 uh, in the bags right here. Might want to add up more as Asala originals is right near to them. They are actually camping in now in a house, if I'm not mistaken, judging from the minimap. As Asala just sat quietly in their particular fort. So as you can see, they have acquired a house for them. They do not have any kind of points just yet. And they already lost two members right here. And you can see right now, only five teams left with 14 players still alive. Higher skill has been done here by 420 with seven kills with all four members still running about. Second place on our game right now is actually uh, Sbornaya uh, with uh, four kills on uh, four members. 57 Ally is still in the game here. Ally, sorry. With three members and three kills. And Troya, one left, still waiting it out. Asala original. Still no kills with two members. 420 scouring Brasilia as hard as they can. They want to find more people to kill. And right now, they set up quite a bit of a fortification here. Some mines mm -hmm. uh, are already placed here. So they are going to be happy to stay in this zone. They are looking to see if there's anyone in the surrounding ah. area. But oh, Bangor, okay, good. No, I'm not going to have any issues there. But uh, now, it, uh, it, we're going to have to see a Salah original start to move a little bit here. They are mm -hmm. a little bit too much on the edge of the zone. But they are very much aware that there is another team in the vicinity. So they can't um, try and move too fast here. Otherwise, they're going to get spotted out. And this is going to get snuffed out here. But uh, now, we do have Spornaya actually starting to move in on the northern side of the zone. They are moving mm -hmm. very central here. I think with 13 players left alive, they're really not that yeah. afraid of what's yeah. going on. And yeah. they would have seen the kill feed as well. Yeah, I think they are very comfortable here knowing the, that maybe they would be qualify, they would qualify towards the World Cup for the Eurasia region right here. They are, conf they are confidently sitting right in the middle of the playing field. Yeah, not much cover available here. 57 LA is not too close here to offer any kind of contention right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they at least do have a little bit of high ground advantage, but uh, they are moving already to the northwestern side here as uh, now 420 might be able to catch them out. But Spornaya doesn't have to do a lot here. They just mm -hmm. have to try and get as many points as they can, playing as conservatively as they want to. But Looking at how things are in terms of which teams are left remaining here, they can afford to, you know, be a little bit more on the flamboyant side. But mm. uh, look at the focus that they have there. They are still playing very close together here. The communication mm -hmm. is working well. 
Yeah, they, even though they know that they might be qualifying for the World Cup, but, but they're still going to play our game professionally. As you can see here, our Salah original right at the edge of the blue zone right here. They really need to make a move. At the same time, 420 is actually waiting for them. Bonaya has no more patience right here. They're going to push it in on towards 420 and also maybe Asala original uh, right near to them. 420 actually running back away from Brasilia. Straight away entering the, the new safe zone. Coming behind them is Bonaya as well. Having the same idea, 57 LA making their way as well towards the new safe zone. So with four teams and 13 players still playing, we might see another bloodbath coming in as teams are actually close to each other right now. Yeah, and uh, they're all congregating on that south uh, western side of the zone mm -hmm. right now as uh, there's only going to be the Spornaya players who are kind of like happy to mingle around the northern side uh, yeah. uh, and uh, try and catch any teams rotating in. But 57 LA, they're playing very strategically here on this edge, but uh, they don't really have to worry about it. 420 is going to be inside the close buildings here. So they're actually starting to put pressure there onto the members there from Spornaya. Spornaya is uh, still very much on the open. Uh, Tumso here taking yeah. quite a bit of damage, but going to get healed up quite straight away here. But now it does look like 57 LA pushing into 420 here, and it looks as though they there's going to be a bit of a trade here, but now they're moving in. Oh, oh no, Solo could not get a push in as one of the members of 57 Ally has dropped dead right here. Bang, uh, Bangoro is wide open, has been shot down right here by a member from Asala Original at the back. At the same time, you can see Selil try to do something here for 57 Ally, but he is only behind one small cover right here. At the back, you can see 420 might enroach on towards Selil. And oh my god, Ragnar pushing in very far, uh, very uh, aggressive right here. Uh, sees, uh, they, they know that, ah, okay, they know Asala Origin is right behind them. And Spornaya has got the zone here, from, and uh, everyone else oh. is going to be in a real difficult spot now. They do need to traverse out from this position, as 420 has been sitting here for a while, but now they need to move. And Salil is oh. going to get fired upon here, and yep. 57 LA is. Ally, sorry, is actually going to get eliminated here, leaving two okay. squads left. 420 going to go for uh, uh, Asala, originals at the back. Can see uh, a member from 420 try to go for the push, but the grenade launcher on towards Asala manages to get one knock right here. And Asala, originals not looking very good as 420 go for the push at the back. And Asala, original really needs to make it to the safe zone. And meanwhile, Sponaya is now celebrating very early right here, as there will be crowd booyahs right here. 420, all of them are outside of the zone. And Sponaya, easy booyah for them. They have the high ground. They have the safe zone. They have 420 in their clutches. And there you go. The fourth booyah of our grand finals. Taken up by Sayota Spendiz. Nis Demron is Tavadia. Sponaya gets that booyah yet again. Awesome play from Sport. Really didn't help them, but they managed to get second place and part of the prize money. And so does Asala Original. Finishing 